what your waist bead colors mean and how to tie them on. Welcome to Waste Beauty Talk by Waste Beauty. I'm your host, your CEO, Tatiana. And this is what your waist bead colors mean and how to tie them on. So if you didn't already know, I have a customizable beaded jewelry business where I hand make waist beads, bracelets, thigh beads, rings, all of that good stuff. And as I said, everything is customizable. You can add charms, you can request a color change, letters, numbers. If you guys do see me glancing over to the right, it is because I have my iPad there with some notes. I wanted to make sure to do a lot of research for you guys so that everything I'm saying is 100% factual. Just a reminder that your experience might not be someone else's. So if you do have something you want to add, just say it down in the comments below. Okay, so I first want to start with the best color of the rainbow, red. Red is your color that signifies passion, boldness, assurance. This is the hat that represents your feelings, your instinct, your gut intuition. Next, we have orange. This is the color that represents optimism, vitality, and confidence. Next, we have yellow. This is the color that represents energy, optimism, joy. This is your benefits, everything positive. Your green signifies abundance, wealth, and healing. It is all things creativity and possibilities. Blue is the color that represents knowledge, loyalty, royalty, and truth. Your purple signify wisdom, power, and spirituality. Pink, as we know, is all things romance, love, beauty, care. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to be mixing brown and gold together. So brown signifies earth. It signifies stability, while gold signifies health, power, and wealth. White is the color that represents brightness, truth, purity. Black is the color that represents power, protection, boldness it's giving me very much wakanda forever vibes like this is definitely giving me power now i want to move on to something that keeps popping up on google and that is how do i tie on my waist beads step one to tie in your waist beads would be make sure you are not bloated when you are bloated that really interferes with the placements which your waist beads would fall after you tie them on. Step two is to wrap the full strand around your waist and adjust it to sit wherever you want it to. Step three would be to pull the excess beads down the strand. Step four would be to intertwine the strands and to knot about three to four times. Step five is completely optional, but I personally always do it, and that is to add some glue for extra security. The sixth and final step is to cut off the extra string and beads. You can also choose to save or discard these extra pieces. With the extra beads that you just cut off, you can use this as an anklet, as a bracelet, you can tie it into a ring if you choose. I really hope that you guys learned something new today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do have any questions or comments you guys want to add, be sure to put it down in the comments below. Or you guys can send me an Instagram DM at Waste Beauty. And as always, of course, shop wastebeauty.ca.